Hello, this is Cass Baloo, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Today, we're gonna continue with this hellhole. Um... Dare I? Dare I? Dare I, yes. Okay, I actually revealed the staircase. So, here's the thing. Uh, but first, outcasts. Kill them all! All of them, I say! Wait for it! Go! Okay now, back to that thing I was distracted about. So here's that thing about the ninja. This is a really big staircase. I wonder what hap- wait, what? There- shouldn't there be... Okay, I want right here. There's something buried here. It's an invisibility scroll, and there's a whole lot of items all over this floor here, hidden like that, which the ninja from last time hinted at us about. However, now that I've demonstrated this, I don't care about any of the items here. There's... I... nothing really all that valuable. The invisibility scroll is probably the best of the bunch, in fact. As for this box, it's a hider! Yay! Now then... Let's, let's, let's get moving. Okay, let's keep going! Can I...? Hmm... Ha! -ha! It's an elixir! Yay! Pop. Okay, let's just keep going. Uh, do these do anything? I don't think... Okay, well that made a staircase. I see. I suspect that this one is a trap. Then... Hmm... Well, oops. Aw oh, man. I should have went to level 4 with Sian that time. I could have done it. Ah oh, well. No big deal. Zombie dragons hit pretty hard, but they're actually not really that bad. The other th the wanderers, I want to say, are actually a lot more annoying to fight. Because they have an attack called Life Shaver. And what Life Shaver does, unless you're immune to instant death, it drains all of your, all of your life, instantly killing you and healing them by the same amount. It is a real pain in the ass. But what you gonna do, I suppose. Um, yeah, I want that box. The box! Ooh. Do I flip the switch? I actually don't know if I'm supposed to flip the switch. Mmm... Let's see... Leave it alone for now? Because I don't want to accidentally block myself off from the stuff down here. And I don't know what that switch does. Okay, there's stuff down here. Also, there's a totally hidden door here. I think this switch opens it? Yes, it does. Okay, let's go inside. Because there is treasure! Lots of treasure. Treasure like a ma Magicite Shard, which, if I remember right, that's, that's a consumable that summons a random Esper. Yeah. Pretty much. And a hi either! 
Real smooth game. Way to interrupt me right in the middle of opening up treasure. Like another Magicite Shard. But most importantly of all, the Ultima Weapon! Or Weepon, if you prefer. Check this out. That is a lying liar. That attack value. As it says, it's bound by your HP. The higher your HP, the more damage it deals. Now, I believe it cares about percentage-wise and not total, but I could be mistaken. Uh, no. Wait. Wait. No, wait. I'm... I'm wrong. Well, I'm sort of wrong. It cares about your current HP. It's based on your current HP. So, but... I don't think it... Having higher HP makes it deal more damage, I'm pretty sure. While I'm in here, I should heal Terra. Ta-da! Okay. So it's not actually very useful right now, but it will be later on, when we have thousands of HP. If only I had a blood sword. Imagine, dual with an ultimate weapon and the blood sword. I would never run... I would be so awesome! Although not in this place because it's full of zombies. Um... Anyway... 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 Let's go up here! Wait. I want to go hit the button in the box. Now I do. I got the important stuff. So... Now then, what does this button do? Flip the switch! Um, well, I heard something, but... I knew it! It was a trap! Except not really, because I can just go around, but... Anyway. I actually really do have no idea what that button did. Well, whatever. More of you assholes. Kill them all! Let's just wait for Terra, because then I can do this. By the way, you may have noticed that Gao and Locke both have haste, auto haste, but Sien does not. You might be thinking that, hey, you should throw that on him so his Bushido takes less time. And you're thinking wrong. By the way, that is bullshit right there. Because here's the thing, the timer on Bushido is not affected by haste. It might be affected by Sien's speed, but even that I am not convinced by. I don't think it is actually, I looked it up a while ago, I don't, hmm. I don't think it's affected by his agility either actually, I'm pretty sure it isn't, but I know it isn't affected by his by haste. So, with that in mind, the way I see it, there are just better people to give haste to. Just straight up. It's like, why bother giving to him? He's just gonna get slowed down by his attack mechanics anyway. You know? Anyway. Anyway. Pull the switch! Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um... Aha! Uh, wait. Seriously, but Life Shaver is bullshit. Oh, hey, it's a box! With another Magicite Shard. Okay, then. Well... Okay, so, I'm almost out of here and I want to do that, but first I actually want to check something. Have you finished everything? Yes. I really want better magic on Terra right now, because there's not, re not really much point in raising my magic if I don't have anything to do with it. So, we're going to switch to this, even though it'll mean slightly less magical power. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, you know what? I'll do that after the next battle. Okay then. Okay then. Okay then. I think we're almost out of here. 
I think so. Anyway. Oh, yeah, this looks like an exit. Or entrance. Yeah, I'd say that's what it is. Beyond there is the Esper World. And before there is the Indoor Lightning. <laughs> oh, I... Not only is that the worst possible thing, but I probably can't do Kefka's voice for very well right now. I was not expecting this. Yeah, that's Kefka alright. Just like the Emperor said! Give them Terra, and they'll open the gate for us! In other words, you've been playing our hands all along! <laughs> I have no business with you! I'm here to open the gate to my promised land! You better think again, Kafka! Oh dear! You wanna fight, don't ya? This is just dreadful! Yeah, I guess so? Well, I wonder if I can steal anything from him, actually. Nope. Oh! The door is opening! And then the battle ends before we've done it. Espers, heed my call. It's open! It's open! I... I... I've got a bad feeling about this. Was that bomb moot? I'm not sure what that second one was, but the first one I'm pretty sure was Bahamu. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing the voice for today, cause my throat cannot handle it right now. Sorry. Ooh, that was Fenrir. Not sure who that was. Shiva again? What? What are you doing, Shiva? I'm pretty sure I had a unicorn as well. Like, actually, yeah, because one of my espers is Unicorn. Well, that just happened. Oh. And now it's being sealed away with stone very slowly. I gotta be honest, I don't think that amount of rock w is really enough to stop someone sufficiently motivated. I mean, I can still see the damn gate behind it. There's a big pit right in front of the gate. It doesn't take, it would not take much 
to unbarricade that gate. Where indeed? We'd better head back to the airship. I suppose we had better head back to the airship? Uh, we're here again. Well, that's... Okay, first of all, are you fracking kidding me? Second of all, we don't need to walk back because there's a special door that brings us to the entrance. Ta-da! And on that note, I'm going to stop off here. Until next time... This has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with Chaos Baloo, and have a good day.